Very simple. One semi frozen mullet. And easy again. Start at the top, just behind the, the peck fins, cutting down at the angle. Turn him over. You're basically taking both sides of the actual mullet there. Place the mullet skin down and we're just going to skin it. Okay. Taking off as much of that part of it as we can so we end up with that brown part which is the oil gland area. Do exactly the same here. that part of it there. I'm then taking the mullet from behind the gills. Getting that little part out there. Be very careful you don't cut yourself. And that's basically what I'm looking for. A big piece of chocker. Open it up, take out the stomach, cut that down, and as you can see you already got your size pretty much formed for your bait already. Choco hammer. Skin side facing up, just so that you break down all the, the hard tissue area. Exactly the same here, hard side up, the, 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 the skin side up, if I can put that. That part um, of the mullet, I'm just also just lightly softening up. Okay, first things first, take your smallest piece of mullet. And what I'm trying to do is form pretty much almost like a golf ball size bait, if I can call it that. One side. And there we go. Taking that stomach part, the gills part, all the blood. Just softening it up a bit. A lot of smell, a lot of flavor in that part of the actual fish.
Take our chocker and we're wrapping it around our bait. And guys, don't be afraid to use a lot of cotton on it. When this hits the water and the cotton starts pulling tight on your actual bait, all these little bits, blood, smell, guts and that starts oozing out of the actual chocker. And I tell you what, once that flavor starts getting into the water, it'll attract any fish in the area. Okay, we'll circle look. And there it is. Very aerodynamic bait that you can throw quite far. The sinker, look at that there. We'll hook on there. And that's it. Very aerodynamic bait that you can throw a mile and a half, guys. Okay.